Good afternoon, parents and guardians. Welcome to the briefing for the streaming exercise and subject combinations for the secondary two students. I am Mr. Ng Jen Yang, Head of Department of ICT. I will be taking you through the first segment of this briefing. In recent years, we will have seen a shift in skill sets required for different jobs. Our education system is moving in tandem with this shift. We are also moving towards having greater recognition of different aptitudes and talents and encouraging individuals to discover and pursue their strengths and interests and develop mastery of skills in their chosen field. While considering their strengths and interests, students should be aware of the important skills required for the future when deciding on the subjects that they would like to offer. The following are some recent articles which may provide a glimpse of what are required in the near future. However, we must note that in the current fast-paced economy, these skill sets are also evolving as we speak. If the parents would like to know more, you may wish to scan the QR code to read the following articles. There are multiple education pathways which a student can tread with different types of qualifications delivered through different mode and which can be attained at different times and stages of the student's life. There are three main types of post-secondary school options available. The junior colleges or millennial institutes that prepares the students for GCE A-level examination before proceeding to attain a university degree. Polytechnic LaSalle, NAFA, that trains students with relevant skills for the workplace in a knowledge-based economy. And the Institute of Technical Education that equips students with technical knowledge and skills relevant to the industry. We will now like to share on the multiple pathways available for students offering the normal academic course. There are four options that a student can choose from after the N-level examination. They are the Poly Foundation Program, also known as PFP, the Direct Entry Scheme to Poly Program, also known as DPP, the ITE NITEC Program, and to progress to the Secondary 5. The Polytechnic Pathway is a popular option among students offering N-level course. The Polytechnic offers a wide range of courses ranging from business and accountancy, design and environment, engineering, firm and media studies, health science, humanities and social science, infocom technology, life science and chemical technology courses. For the latest and most up-to-date courses available, please do visit the homepage of the various Polytechnic. There are two options that offer students a direct pathway to enter the Polytechnic. The first being the Poly Foundation Program, also known as PFP. This is a true train pathway where students will enter the Polytechnic directly after their end level to embark on a one-year foundation program before starting their selected course in the Polytechnic. To qualify for PFP, the students are required to be the top 10% of the secondary 4NA national cohort to attain the 12 points or below for EMB3 aggregate before deduction of CCA bonus point, to attain at least an NA level grade 3 for subjects used in the computation of the EMB3. And eligible students will be given the options to apply after the release of GCEO level results in January, the year they graduate from secondary 4 and 8. Do note that the students applying for PFP must first progress to secondary 5 and 8 while waiting for the PFP application. There are two groups of courses offered in the PFP program. In group 1 courses, these include courses from applied sciences, built environment, business and management, engineering, health sciences, information and digital technology, maritime studies, and media and design. The following are the minimum required grades for the N-level examination the students must attain 
to qualify for group one courses in PFP. So in general, the students have to attain a grade three for all the subjects involved. For the group two course in the area of business and management, humanities, media and design, do note the more stringent requirement in English language due to the nature of the course, which demands a good command of the language. The alternate polytechnic pathway is a direct entry scheme to the polytechnic program, also known as DPP. DPP allows four normal academic stream students to be admitted directly to a two-year higher NITEC program without having to sit for the O-level examinations or undergo a NITEC program. Students will have successfully completed the course and attained the required minimum qualifying higher NITEC grade point average GPA are guaranteed a place in one of the polytechnic diploma courses they are met to their higher NITEC course. To qualify for DPP, the students are required to obtain an EMB3 aggregate of 19 points or better, excluding CCA bonus point, and meet the course specific entry requirements. For applied sciences, engineering, and info communication technology courses, students will have to attain a grade 4 for English and Mathematics and a grade 5 for three other subjects excluding CCA. For business and services courses, the students will need to attain a grade 3 for English and a grade 4 for Mathematics and grade 5 for any three other subjects. The following is a summary table of progression to poly from DPP. For Applied Sciences and Business and Services courses, Student who has attained a GPA of 2.5 and 3.0 respectively will be able to progress to the first year of the relevant Polytechnic Diploma course. For students offering Engineering and Info Communication Technology courses, they can progress directly to the second year of the relevant Polytechnic Diploma course if they achieve a GPA of 3.5. This will save them one year in obtaining the Polytechnic Diploma Certificate. There are a number of DPP higher NITEC courses which can be mapped to the Poly Diploma course. For the full mapping list, please do visit the ITE website to find out more about the DPP. For students who are interested in pursuing a specific NITEC course from the Institute of Technical Education, they can participate in the Early Admission Exercise, also known as the EAE. Under this exercise, students are provided conditional offers for admission to the ITE prior to receiving their final grades. The students will be selected based on their aptitude, interest, relevant working experience, and achievements in sports, arts, leadership, entrepreneurship, and community service. For students who are offered the course in the EAE, they do not have to compete with the other graduates based on their N-level scores after the release of the N-level results. For the ITE NITEC program, students are required to have at least three GCE N-level passes, a grade 1 to 5 or a grade A to D in English and Mathematics depending on the course requirement. The three ITE located in the East, Central and West part of Singapore each has six schools and offers a variety of courses ranging from Applied and Health Sciences, Business and Services, Design and Media, Electronics and Infocom Technology, Engineering and Hospitality. The following slides will show the courses offered from each school of the ITE and its entry criteria. For more detailed information, you may also visit the ITE website. Good afternoon, parents. I am Miss Nyo Hui Jin, subject head of physics. It is my pleasure today to bring you through the second part of today's briefing. Let's take a closer look at Secondary 3, 
Normal Academic Subject Combinations in 2022. Secondary 3 NA Subjects in 2022. The subjects offered are shown in the table below. Each subject is represented by a code. For example, L is the code for language. This includes English language and mother tongue. CS is the code for combined science. This includes combined science of biology, chemistry, and combined science of physics, chemistry. MA is the code for mathematics. This includes mathematics, which is also known as EMath, additional mathematics, which is also known as AMath, principle of accounts, which is also known as POA, and computing. H is the code given for humanities. This includes combined humanities of social studies and a choice of the elective of geography or history. C is the code for coursework. This includes art, design and technology, which is known as DT, and food and nutrition, which is known as FN. Please note that the subjects with an asterisk are compulsory subjects. The final subjects offered in 2022 will be subjected to changes due to demand and availability of resources. Let's focus our points of discussion as below. Number one, the total number of subjects that your child is interested to take, either six subjects or seven subjects. Point number two, the subject combinations as categorized based on the subject type. If your child is interested to take a total of six subjects, this will be the option. The first three subjects will be compulsory subjects, which include English language, mother tongue, and e-math. Subject four, five, and six, there will be choices. For subject four, this is the combined humanities subject with social studies, with a choice for the elective geography or history. Subject five is the combined science subject with the choice for combined science physics chemistry or combined science biology chemistry. Subject six, there is a choice between coursework of art or DT or FN or the math subject of POA or A math. Please note, A math at N level is only offered to students who are taking out of stream mathematics at O level. If your child is interested to take a total of seven subjects, please note that the seven subject is computing. To take a seven subject, a set of additional criteria applies. In order to qualify to take computing, he must have obtained at least 65% in secondary two overall, as well as at least 65% in secondary two mathematics. If we were to look at the subject combinations based on the type of subjects, instead of the earlier two options, we can look at them in the four different subject combinations. For example, for student A offering subject combination two, he will be taking two languages that includes 
English language and the mother tongue, one combined science, for example, science, biology, chemistry, one humanities, for example, SS geography, one coursework subject, for example, food and nutrition, and two math subjects, for example, e-math, and the seventh subject is computing. Let's take a closer look at out-of-stream subjects, O-level. In lower secondary, some students qualify to take the subjects at a higher level in express. This is known as subject-based bending, SBB. As they move on to upper secondary, when they qualify to take the subjects at a higher stream, express, this is known as out-of-stream OOS subjects. Out-of-stream O-level subjects offered to students in NA. These subjects include English language at O-level, mathematics at O-level, science, physics, chemistry, or science, biology, chemistry at O-level, and mother tongue at O-level. Existing students who are being offered SBB at Secondary 2 can continue to be offered out-of-stream subject when he passed the subject at a higher level in Secondary 2. New students who would like to be offered out-of-stream subjects will need to attain at least 65% for the subjects at Secondary 2. Please note, Students cannot offer more than three out-of-stream subjects. Let's take a look at the promotion criteria. In order for your child to be promoted from Secondary 2 NA to Secondary 3 NA, he or she must obtain Grade 5 or better in English language and two other subjects, or he or she must obtain a pass in a total of four subjects. To qualify for a lateral transfer from 2NA to 3 Express, he or she must attain a minimum of 70% in overall percentage, and the students must be deemed to be able to cope with the rigour of the more demanding course, especially in the area of literacy and numeracy. Let's take a look at the schedule. From August to September, we will be engaging your child in a subject combination survey to find out about his interests. In October, after the end of year examination, this will be the period of the actual streaming selection and exercise. At the end of October, it will be the release of the streaming exercise results. It is important for you to discuss with your child and help him to build a correct mindset and set a strong foundation. Help your child to develop the growth mindset. We can intentionally role model resilience and use space language. Support and listen to your child. Process setbacks and work with your child to develop alternate plans to overcome setbacks. Affirm him of his strengths and encourage his efforts. Cheer him on and empower your child with skills and opportunities to try. I hope I have provided you with enough information and clarity for the streaming exercise. I've come to the end of today's briefing. Thank you.